Now, I love Bioshock 1 and 2, and when I found out it was a spiritual successor to System Shock, I had to go back and have a gander at the original System Shock. And as a fresh new player, I found the original a little bit too old to enjoy, particularly the control scheme. So I have been waiting for this System Shock remake for a while now. It has been delayed quite a bit, but I finally got it in my hands, and I've just finished my first playthrough. So this video will be from the perspective of a mostly new player. So basically it's 2072, you play a naughty hacker who ends up getting caught. Turn around! Now! You're given an ultimatum and you're forced to use your skills to hack a space station's AI called Shodan. She controls just about every system on Citadel Station. You're knocked out and after a six month long coma, you awaken to find yourself on that very Citadel Station in the aftermath of what the AI Shodan has done here. This is a first person RPG with survival horror elements as you hack your way around the Citadel Station in isolation and ultimately try to defeat Shodan and her creations and traps. Step right into my trap, little, 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 little hacker. Hey Cookie, I'm trying to grow the channel. My goal is 10,000 subs, but any likes or support would be an amazing help. I mostly cover RPGs in all shapes and sizes. Thanks. Now the first point I'd make is System Shock is quite challenging. You're going to have to conserve your ammo and supplies and there's no waypoints directing you to your objective. You need to pay attention for clues and direction through environmental storytelling via the game world and audio or text logs. Join us. Join the game is very faithful to the original System Shock in that aspect. If you're looking for a laid back casual experience, this might not be for you. But for me, I love this kind of game design and it has me even more immersed in this cyberpunk world. There were a few moments that were a little bit frustrating like when I completely cleaned and searched a floor but still managed to miss a very small keycard that was needed to progress the story. To an extent you can tailor your experience and choose between three difficulty options for combat, missions, cyber hacking minigames and puzzles. I really like that the difficulty options don't just make you die faster like in most games. Yeah, they actually changed the gameplay experience. For instance, a higher mission difficulty means more complicated mission objectives and extra steps that aren't included in lower difficulties. I went with the medium difficulty. I didn't want to die in real life for playing on the hardest, but System Shock was still quite challenging. I mentioned this is very much a survival horror experience and you'll be scrounging around for anything useful and it's very atmospheric. Your every move is being watched by the AI antagonist, Shodan and you'll want to destroy every security camera you come across to limit her vision and security level. It's always kind of creepy hearing a security camera beep or creak as it turns to lock onto you, and you know Shodan is watching. Shodan is probably my favorite part of System Shock. She's an AI that's gone rogue and has gained a disgust for humanity. Throughout the game, she's taunting you and setting traps throughout the Citadel Station. It's pretty awesome coming across her audio logs and discovering what horrific things she's been up to and what her plans are. The developer's top priority was getting the same voice actor for Shodan as in the original, and that was a great decision. Her creepy robotic voice gives you shivers. Humanity is on the verge of a new era. I, Shodan, am its new god. god, god, god. Level design early on has you going through more maze-like locations on board the Citadel Station, and that claustrophobic element contributes to that horrific atmosphere, with the busy beeping and flashing of different computer systems everywhere. Levels are generally a bit more open later on, and you can make custom marker notes on your map, but it is still quite easy to get lost. You've got to go back to the previous floors to open doors that you previously couldn't open. It is almost a smidgen of Metroidvania like that, and as you progress you can get new attachments that give you new features or abilities. The hover boots were a pretty awesome surprise. Nice. System Shock is faithful to the original, and that is this game's biggest strength, but it could also be its biggest weakness. I think the more modern casual gamer might find System Shock a little frustrating. I am a fan, like I said, I enjoy the more hardcore experience. I like immersing myself into the game world with environmental storytelling and not blindly following waymarkers like modern games. I'd rather a remade game stay true to what the original fans loved about the original game instead of chasing after a new younger audience and alienating the fans who loved their games in the first place. 
That said, there's plenty of improvements and quality of life changes, including a sorely needed overhaul to user interface and controls that allow me to really enjoy this. I just couldn't meld with the original experience 25 to 30 years late. Some nitpicks I had. Uh, there's a lot of inventory management and limited space and you can vaporize junk to get useful materials out of them, but it is quite a slow process vaporizing everything. I think I would have liked an option to set certain items to auto vaporize or just have the vaporize function set to a keybind just to speed up the process. There were a few bugs, like enemies dead bodies reloading in as I went back through areas or some enemies that weren't responsive at all but nothing that really affected my gameplay experience in a negative way. Also, there is a subspace hacking minigame you'll need to do every now and then. You'll fly around and shoot enemies as a digital spaceship, and I wasn't a huge fan of that. It could be a little frustrating at times, and it pulled me away from the core System Shock experience. I'm pretty happy with the System Shock remake. The antagonist showdown is the best part. I'm glad the developers have mostly kept it faithful to the original and I've managed to experience and understand why System Shock was such a classic and why it's gone at so many spiritual successes. My fingers are crossed. I hope we see more System Shock in the future. I really want to see System Shock 2's multiplayer with a more modern version. Maybe even a System Shock 3. Did you know that there was originally a plan for System Shock 3, but the development direction changed to give us Dead Space instead? Definitely pick this up if you're into your more immersive RPGs and survival horrors with no handholding. Have you played the original System Shock or the remake? What do you think? Let me know in the comments and peace for now.